can't forget that. Or I will be in trouble. Okay, if I, if I end up losing you along the way, somebody text me, okay? Hi everyone and welcome to the Flying Unicorn Live Ustream Shows. My name is Shona Keen. I am from Canada. I've been with the Flying Unicorn for quite a few years now and Elda finally talked me into trying out and doing a Live Ustream show. So fingers and toes crossed that everything goes well tonight. Um, I do have a couple of announcements first. And the first one is next week, same place, same time, Song will be here. And Song always has such gorgeous projects to share with everybody and really fun tips and techniques too. So make sure you turn in next week for, for Song. And also next week, the pre-sales for the Junior Passion Your Art Kit. Yay! You guys are going to love this kit. I absolutely love it. It's got really cool things in it might even have like an off the page lampshade hat or something. I don't know. But anyways, you're going to love it. And there's two ways that you can pay for it. You can, you can pay now or you can pay later. And I think Elda even sends it out to you before the kit is revealed. So big bonus. And the other announcement is Ustream show specials. One of the girls will provide a link to the Flying Unicorn store and you can check those out. So remember, if you've got any questions, Throughout the show, just ask away, and if I miss it on the chat, one of the girls will catch it. So bear with me while I pan over because I'm not very good at the pan. So let's hope this goes okay. Uh, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh no. The pan. Okay, we've almost got it. Okay, I think that's going to have to do. <clears throat> I've got my allergies are acting up a bit right now too, so hopefully I don't have to clear my throat too much. <coughs> okay, so tonight we are going to be using the newest collection from Magic Designs. It's really beautiful papers. Um, it's you spell it N Y H A V N. That's the name of the collection. I'm sorry, I don't know how to how to pronounce it, but it's got. Perfect, honey, perfect. Thank you, Elda. <laughs> it's got really nice pattern papers on one side. Look at these pretty stripes. And then some of the pages are, are less pattern on them. And that's what I love to always use on my top. So here's the layout that we're going to be making. And let's get started. I've got a couple of pieces of paper underneath here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I made you guys shake there. Eek. Got my picture. I'm actually doing a different picture. It's the one that I did with it. So I may change the layout out, up a bit. I may do the layout like this. I'm just going to turn it so that I can put these two pictures on the wall together. So the first thing that we're going to do is this is what I use for the bottom, the bottom sheet. And we're just I'm just going to distress this first. Hopefully the distressing isn't too loud. On my test show, the distressing was kind of loud. So bear with, bear with me here. Hopefully it's not too loud. I'm just using, I'm just using this distress tool. I have two of them. I have the Primo one. And I've got this one. I like doing this one for, for around the edges. I don't know. It just it's it's an old favorite. <clears throat> I don't even know where I got it from. I've had it for for so many years. So I'm just distressing around the outside edge just to give it a little bit of a rough look. Okay, so that is done. You know what? I forgot to bring a spare piece of paper, so I'm just going to use something that's here. And we're going to just ink around the edges first before we get going on anything else and I'm just going to quickly do it. I've got some I've got some Tim Holtz distress ink in vintage photo. So I'm just going to quickly distress the edges. Ink ink them up. I don't know why I love to ink so much. I always love inking the edges. Gives it that vintage look, I guess. So 
there we go. That was fast. That is done. And for the top sheet, I already trimmed it down just a bit. I trimmed it just like, just like a quarter of an inch on two sides. <clears throat> and I've got this, the Martha Stewart Lacy Punch. I think it's called the Swirling Lace Punch. And I'm going to just punch all around the edges. I'm really, I'm a messy puncher. I like a messy punch. So I'm just gonna, I don't even, I don't measure. I like there to be some empty spots in there. I think it gives it that shabby look when it's, when it's messy. Uh-oh, my punch stuck. There we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, now it's stuck. Uh-oh. Need a pen or something. That ever happened to you guys? Oh, no. Seriously, my punch stuck? There we go. Oh, give me a heart attack. Hope that doesn't happen again. Show was almost over before it barely began. Eek. So you see, I'm just, I'm really messy. And then after this is done, I'm even going to distress it with the, with the Prima Distress Tool and make it even messier. <clears throat> can you all hear me okay? I sure hope you can. I hope that this, some things are probably too loud. Okay, that was fast. Here, let me, let me tidy up my mess here. There we go. Then I'm just going to take my Prima all-purpose tool. Elda might even have these in the store. I'm not sure if she does. She does quite a bit, though. And I'm just going to rough it up even more. I'm going to tear it. I like it to be torn. It gives it a shabby look. I guess my, my style is a little bit shabby, a little bit grungy. I'm kind of a girly grunge, I think. <clears throat> there we go. That was fast. And I'm also just going to, I'm going to ink the edges on these ones really quickly. How's the weather been everywhere for everybody? We find it's been it's been really hot here. We had an early spring and it's actually it's been really hot this week. We even planted our garden. It's awesome. I think I need I think I need to get a new distress ink here or the new Timmy's ink pretty soon or get a re-inker or something. I think you can buy re-inkers to just Add some more life to your ink pads. This one's getting pretty, uh, pretty, it's dying fast on me here. Okay, there we go. So that is done. That was quick. And then the two pieces are just going to go together like this. And I'm going to do that right now. I've got a tape glider. And I'm just going to adhere the top page to the bottom one. You know, I really love the Magic Design papers. They're nice and thick. They distress beautifully, and they really hold up well to wet mediums. They're perfect. They don't do a lot of buckling. Now we're going to do some stamping, a little bit of stamping first. My whole thing is that I like to do, I like to be able to put my layouts into photo albums. So I like to keep them as flat as possible. And I do that by adding a little bit of masking and stamping and misting in the background to add dimension and texture. And those are virtually flat layers. So this way I can, I can still put this into an album afterwards. So these are my these are my favorite stamps. They came in a kit last year, and I I'm telling you, I, I use them on everything. These are my absolute favorite stamps. 
You guys know I use them on everything because everything I make has got them on it. And I'm just using some stays on permanent ink. This is from the Flying Unicorn store. Oops, it's up to side down. There we go. It's from the Flying Unicorn store. So somebody can provide links. And I'm just going around the whole outside edge with this stamp. One of the dogs is looking at me through the doorway. Poor little guy. I think, hope he doesn't have to go pee. <laughs> You're going to have to hold it for a while. Love these full stitch stamps. <clears throat> I used to actually bring out my sewing machine and stitch on my layouts till these stamps became available. What a lifesaver. I just love them. If you guys ever get a chance to get these, you should see if Elda can get them. If she can get them into the store if they're still available. They were by they're by Prima. I'm not sure if they're still available or not. Maybe she can get them. They're amazing. I absolutely love them. Okay, I have to look at my layout now. See where my other stamping is. So then I did, I have this, I have a text stamp. And I'm just, this is from Creative Embellishments. But you can use any text stamp that you've got. And I'm just going to do a little bit of text stamping in the background. Can you guys see it? You will. You'll see it. So this is where the it's going to go up and down there. So I want some text stamping there. And I'm just I'm just randomly adding some text stamping where I know my like I know that the picture is going to go here, so it's going to be covering up part of that. And you kind of want to do your stamping before. You do any masking and then you can add a bit of stamping afterwards because I find that that if I if I try to stamp too much after I've done some masking that it just clogs up my stamps with the with the gesso or molding paste whatever you whatever you've used so then right here in this section what I've got behind on the other layout is I just tore a piece, a small piece of this paper. So I'm just going to tear a small piece to put behind the, the photo. <clears throat> and I'm just going to, I'm just going to glue this down right now. Glue it down there. And the reason why I'm gluing this down here is because it's also just going to add a little bit of dimension behind the photo. You might not even really be able to see it, but it's going to add it. It's going to make the photo pop up a little bit more in the end. Probably won't even be able to see it. <clears throat> they keep texting me. Maybe I better check and make sure that nothing's messed up. Hold on. Okay. So next up, we're just humming along here, aren't we? We're going to be done this in about half an hour, probably. Maybe I better slow down. I'll have a drink of my water and slow down a bit. <laughs> they call me Shona Scissor Hands, you know, because I'm I tend to be pretty fast at scrapping. This is one of the Prima Doily stamps from Finnabar, and I love this mask sorry not stamp it's a mask I love it I I'm not sure if it's available in the flying unicorn store I know that there I'm pretty sure there is one of them available there though there's two or three different ones so I'm just gonna do some right here and I've got some golden molding paste and I got that from the flying unicorn store so I'm going to with a spatula and I'm just going to do a thin layer of masking. Doesn't have to be perfect. I find the only masking that has to be, that you really have to concentrate and make perfect, is 
if it's really something intricate like writing writing you kind of want to make sure that it's that it goes on right Ooh, pretty 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 and then I'm just gonna add a little bit right here right there can you see that you guys Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I even brought a bowl here to put my mask in so that it doesn't get uh, ruined on me. Because that's one thing I'm really, I'm really fussy with my masks. I do have to wash them as soon as I finish using them. So you know what? That's the only masking that I'm doing tonight is just that one little bit right there. Lots of times I'll use two or three masks. But on this specific layout, I only I only used the one. So I'm going to heat set that a bit now. And I'm just going to put my, my heat tool on low because it's kind of loud. So I'm just going to put it on low. So this will just take a minute. Maybe I can come over and see what you guys are doing on the chat. Still on screen here. I'm not so. Elda sent me a couple of texts so far of of her move, and the new store looks amazing. Big, big store. Hi, Tammy. Tammy, Tammy bought me this. Let me bought me this heat, heat tool right here because I used to use my husband's industrial heat, heat tool and she was having a fit, scared to death that I was going to burn my house down or something. So she bought me this and I use it every time. I love it. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm singing for you guys again. <laughs> Okay, I wonder if that's dry. I'm going to test. I'm going to test. Oh, not clean, Elder. Look at that. Clean. Clean, nice. <laughs> okay, am I off screen here? Let me, let me see. No, it's okay. Just because I had moved it to go look at the chat. Now I've got some... I always use a little bit of shimmers. I've got some shimmers in terracotta. It's the spritz in terracotta. It's a really pretty color. I thought that it went really well with this with this magic design papers. And I'm just going to use a little bit. In fact, I'm going to spray. This is water in here. I'm just going to spray around where the masking is. <coughs> I'm just gonna spray around there and I just want I just want to put put like a, a, a nice light layer of it just to make this area pop a bit. Do you see how it just made it pop just a bit? And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just make it just pop a bit. I love it. Pretty. So pretty. So so pretty. <laughs> okay, I gotta dry this. It's a pretty color. I love it. And I love, you know what I, you know what I love so much about shimmers too? Is you can dump this stuff all over your skin and it just washes off. It just washes right off. Even the black. It just washes right off your hands. It's perfect. Elda, you would like that. pretty much dry. It's 
pretty good to me. Well, maybe not quite on this one. That color goes really well with this with this paper. It just it's perfect. I like it. <clears throat> oh, oh. Okay, what did I do next? Let me see. I've got a list here. Hmm. Here's my photo. I've added it to the cardboard. This is where it's going to go. Hola. He's just so cute, isn't he, you guys? Look at me. I've turned again. Somebody yell at me when I turn. Now, I bought this this burlap, and I bought it not too long ago, but you know what? I think it's I think it's sold out now, and I think it was probably in the May Arts section of the Flying Unicorn store. So it just came, like, I bought a yard of it, and I, and I just like to use it behind my photos once in a while. So, and I'm just trimming off, just going to trim off the edges, the stitched edge part, so that I can fray, I can fray it all up a bit. And I'm just going to, here I'll do it on here. I'm just going to fray the edges a bit. Pull off some of the, pull off some of the strings. So it gives it that, that rough, that rough look that kind of goes with what I'm doing so far. <clears throat> so that's going to go here. See how I said this piece of paper was going to get covered up? But you're going to see little bits of it peeking out here and there. So that's that's just going to go behind the photo, just like that. So I'm, I've got my my three-in-one beacon glue. This stuff here is amazing. If you guys haven't tried the three-in-one or the uh, what's the other one, Fabri-Tac? To me, they're basically the same. But I mean, they're they're just amazing. These glues. You can still move stuff around for a while. And once it's once it's it's set like it's it's really set it's not going anywhere <clears throat> now with my photo i just use my prima my prima tool and i just distress the edges a bit so you can see you can see i've distressed the edges just a bit on it and i just added a piece of card cardboard box on the back of it i just cut it out to give it to give it a little bit more dimension. So I'm going to glue that on right here. I'm actually going to I'm actually going to glue the photo on already. Usually I don't do that quite so soon, but we are humming along here. And you can see little pieces of the the burlap poking out here and there. So pretty. There we go. Olaf. I just love him. He's just a cutie pie. And then I've got, oh, what have I got here? Oh, the pretty, the Venice lace, the flying unicorn Venice lace. I shouldn't even tell you guys about this stuff because you're going to go and grab it all up out of the store. And I absolutely love this lace. It's my favorite. So, may I share with you my favorite lace. I'm going to put a piece there. And I'm going to put... I'm going to put a piece here. And I'm going to glue that down. <clears throat> we are humming along here. Holy cow. Here I thought I was I thought I should I I was worried that I was going to run out of time. I'm just using the 3 in 1 glue. And I'm just going to tuck it in, just under the photo a bit. There we go. Perfect. Oh, let's rub that off. That's going to get covered up with the flower anyways. Uh-oh, a boo-boo. I'm going to cover that up with the flower. Dogs are barking. I just, I just gave my husband the eye. <laughs> Excuse me, I need to get a drink of water. <clears throat> oh, 
okay wow look at how fast we're going here so I got all these pretty flowers to play with tonight look at them oh here we go the gorgeous petaloo flowers I just love this botan but these are both from the botanicals the botanica collections and they're in the teal these are the small blooms and these are the larger blooms and they're actually a light teal and a dark teal absolutely gorgeous flowers and really flat flowers too except for that one right there is kind of thick and then the other flowers that we're going to use are the textured element flowers from Petaloo love these flowers so pretty so much texture they're gorgeous these are my faves I might have to yell at my husband to come and get the dogs out of here. Look. <laughs> ah, sure. Husbands. Okay, so what do I need? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this one here, this one over here, this one over here, this one here. And I need a couple of I need one of these ones and I've I've got a pack that's actually got one in it. So I'm gonna grab it. I'm going to put that one there. <clears throat> okay. I have to text my husband and tell him to get the dogs. It's driving me crazy. Hold on one sec. dogs now <laughs> they're scratching on the door it's driving me crazy <clears throat> so then I've got these li the little ones and they're so pretty they got little leaves look at the little tiny leaves on them so I'm going to use one of these ones down here and I'm going to use this one over here oh this is turning out beautiful you guys Beautiful. Love it. I think we can put the flowers down. Let's do it. Let's do these flowers. Actually, wait, wait. Should I do this other thing first? Hmm. I've got the creative embellishment um, film strip here, chippy. And I'm going to add a couple of pieces of that first. Just behind the photo here. So I'm just going to add a couple of these. I'm just going to trim it down. And well, I'm just going to tuck in a piece there and a piece on the other side. Look at my Timmy scissors. They're looking pretty ratty, aren't they? They've been through a lot of scrapping. I'm going to glue these in. I'm going to use my glue and tuck them in under the photo here. That's the perfect thing about adding some cardstock and, and you know, or cardboard behind your photo. And I got that from Delena. And the, what a great tip that was, Delena. And leaving a little bit of room so that you can still tuck things in. Perfect. Love it. Yay! And now we can add flowers. Look, at, we're only halfway through the show and I'm going to be done. Here by quarter two, I bet you, you guys. Early night for everyone. We can visit. We can visit if I get done early. Uh-oh, am I out of focus? There we go. I think I'm back. Is it okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to tuck this in kind of underneath there a bit. Tuck that flower in there. There we go. And then this one. Uh oh, I think I banged the table. Sorry, you guys. Maybe there's a train going by. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to tuck this one in here. But I want the pretty teal to show. So do you guys see how I got those layers there by adding some stamping and masking and a little bit of paper and mist? And it creates a lot of layers and texture, and but your layout is still fairly flat. 
I'm going to tuck this one in underneath there. And one more flower here. There we go. Pretty. Love it. So pretty. I love Olaf. Look at him. Little cutie pie. I'm going to put my little cluster. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to move it down. I don't want it up that high. I want my cluster more over here at the bottom. So this flower right here that I just added, that's the thickest thing on this layout. So this layout is definitely going into a photo album easily. So then there's the three flowers there. It's pretty, I love it. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> Can everybody hear me okay? I hope so. Are you all excited about the kit? The kit uh, pre-sales next week? The kit is amazing. You guys are going to love it. Love it, love it, love it. You know, as so I say, love it a lot, eh? <laughs> so I also used some of this Prima wire. I'm not sure if there's any of that left in the store either, but or if, um, Elda should get it back in if she if she can. It's it's really cool stuff. I love it. So I'm just going to cut a piece off. And I actually always use my my gesso bottle, and just wrap it around there a couple of times, because it's it's always usually about the perfect size of a photo. And then I just wrap it a bit, wrap this up a bit, and I want it to be kind of off off, like not not exactly round. <clears throat> And I should have did that first before I put the flowers down. No, I can do it. I can still do it. I, I tucked it in under the photo on that side. Uh-oh, this isn't quite big enough. i got to make it a bit bigger. Hold on. It's the finale for American Idol tonight, too. I think my husband's watching that. Hopefully it doesn't turn the music up too loud. So I'm just tucking it in there, and then I'm going to tuck it in under this other corner over there. And it's just going to add just a little bit more, more of these flat layers. Everybody seems to want to be going to these, the flatter layers lately. And and you know what? I, I don't blame them. It's, it's, you, there's only so many album or layouts that you want to create and, and stick away into a box because you can't get them into any albums anywhere. <clears throat> so I just added a bit of glue under that corner and over here and that should keep that in place because it's under that corner there. There we go. So that's done. Can you guys see it okay? I have this wire in black also, and I just I just love it. It's it's really fun stuff. Really fun to make your photos pop a bit more. <clears throat> so that part is done. And what else do I gotta do here that I can do right away? Let's see, I want to I think I'm gonna add a little bit more stamping now. I was saving this stamp to use after I got all the embellishments down. Now this one was still in the store last time I checked. It's the Kaisercraft uh, Rock Stamp. And it was still in the Flying Unicorn store. So I'm just going to use a bit of it now. <clears throat> it's a very cool stamp. Like, look at it. And you can... Well, stuff is still wet, you can kind of get under it a bit, too. There we go. Look at it. It's a very cool stamp. I like it. I kind of forgot I had it for a while. And then I then I found it just before I made this layout, so that was perfect. It's, it's really bold. It's quite a bold stamp. And I'm just picking up the embellishments and stamping under them and letting it letting it just peek out 
this stamp. So you're just peeking it, it's letting it peek out just a bit. There we go. I think that's good with that stamp. I never use I never use one of those stamp blocks either. I always I always just freehand my stamping. I guess if I was using a really, really intricate stamp that um, I, I would have to use a block then. But I'm not, so I freehand it. I just go with it. This is just gauze. I'm just adding in little pieces of gauze here and there for more added, more added texture. I'm just going to cut up two or three pieces here and then I will add them in. Where do I got them? Um, I'm going to add a piece over here. Oh. Try to tuck it in under this flower a bit. There we go. Oh, it's sticking to me. I got glue on my fingers. Where else am I going to put some? I'm going to put some over here. I think I'm going to cut it though. I'm going to stick another little piece over here under this flower. Just a little bit. Do you see how it's sticking out there? Do you see it? It's, it's so pretty. It's, it's so dainty. It's kind of bright. There we go. That's good. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to put one more little piece over there. And then that will be it for the gauze. I can get rid of that. It's sticking to my fingers too. Uh, I'm going to tuck that under the photo so it's just peeking out. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. <coughs> so I've got the stamping and the Kingser Craft one done and that done. Now what's next? I've got this I've got some of the Tim Holtz film strip. I've had this forever in my stash. You know what? I, I don't know if it's available anywhere anymore. I'm, it probably is. It should be. It's such cool stuff. So I'm just, I just cut it into three pieces and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and I'm going to tuck this piece in over here underneath this flower. Right there. Again, another virtually flat layer to add to your creation. See, everything doesn't have to be these huge, bulky, bulky um, embellishments. Oh, I don't want to lose you guys. And I'm going to tuck this one in over here. Look at how cute it is. It just adds so much. I think I'm going to tuck that one in up there. No, not there. Where? Right. I'm going to try and get right under everything here. Because I want to keep it all going in the same direction on the main part of the photo. Right there. I think I'm going to trim it just a bit. There we go. Perfect. Tuck that in there a bit more. So that part is done. And I've got these amazing, gorgeous keys and locks. They are adornments from the Flying Unicorn. I love them. They are so much fun. I'm going to use these two right here. Love these packets of metal adornments. I use them on almost everything I create too. So I'm just going to add the key in this flower cluster. Where should I put it? Maybe over here. I'm going to put it right there because it kind of pops on that white flower. And then I'm going to put the locket over here on this one. See 
See how much that adds? So cute. I love them. So what's next? What else do we got to do? Hmm, I've got a few. There's a couple more things that we got to do on it yet. We got 20 minutes left, so I might as well have a cheers. I'm having a drink of water here. Water. <laughs> oh. It's that time of year my allergies are just kicking in full force around here. Okay, this is okay now. This is really cool, you guys. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to use what how I use anyway. These glass filler beads from 13 Arts. Once once I started using them, do you see them? Once I started using these little beads. I just, I absolutely fell in love with them. I cannot get enough of them. So I'm going, to, and I'm going to use it with my glue. I'll show you how I do it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to add some glue over here. And I just kind of, I go messy. And I'm going to add some over here. And I just, I just want to go messy and I want a string of it. Right there. And I'm going to add a little bit more over here. And just messily. And then you just you just add the beads on top. This I can tell I'm gonna have a big mess here. Speaking about messily. <laughs> oh, don't fall on my floor. So there, I just added the beads on top. And I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to catch them. I'm gonna try to catch the the beads here. Oh, 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 oh. Did you just hear them all hit the floor? <laughs> okay, so that's it for those. And then you, 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 I use my heat tool. I use my heat tool. I'm going to have to put it on high, though, so bear with me here for a sec. You want to kind of get it, I get it so that it bubbles a bit, so then I know it's, it's set. So just slow down a minute. I know that this heat, that this heat tool is kind of loud when it's when it's on high. Turn your volume down for a sec. Oh. Okay. Okay, so that's that's done. I'm going to get rid of any stragglers along the way here. Mm, the dogs will eat those up. They'll be like, oh, those beads are delicious, Mama. We want more beads. Beads for dessert. <laughs> So then I just take my gesso. Oh, I can get the lid off of it. Let's... Wait a sec. I'm off screen a bit here. Hold on. I gotta be able to see if I'm on if I'm on screen. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on my finger. Ooh, Elda, Elda. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put that on my finger, and I'm just gonna lightly dab on top. And then I'll show you guys what this looks like afterwards. This is how I use these beads anyways. I think it looks pretty cool. I'll show you what it looks like up close as soon as I'm done with my dabbing. <clears throat> Get this one over here. Cool. You can you can dab it thicker in some spots if you want. Better wipe that off. Ugh, Elda. Eek. <clears throat> Okay, let's see if you can see it. Oh, is my light, my light's too bright. Uh, maybe if I turn this light off for a sec. There, now you can see it. Cool, eh? Is that cool? I love it. Okay, so I'm going to heat set that. And I'm actually going to add more beads. I can do this on low, though. All the beads. Here they are. 
I'm going to gesso first since I've got it out. I love the beads. They're my they're one of my new favorite things for adding dimension and and they add so much texture and dimension and again they're flat. So it seems to be the big the big thing that I'm leaning towards is the flatter my embellishments are the better. Because then I can get these into scrapbooking albums and give them away to my kids. So that's that. I'm gonna put the lid on my glue. The table is shaking a bit. It make it does make me wonder if there's a train going by. I mean I'm not that close to the train tracks, but you know if everything kind of shakes when trains go by. <clears throat> I've got this hard as rock. <laughs> I save everything. I've got this hard as rock paintbrush. And I'm and I actually use it for doing this part. But you know what? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover up my photo. Because I'm famous for doing stuff like this afterwards. And I'm just adding little bits, little bits of gesso to all of my embellishments. It just kind of blends them all in together. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Do, do you guys do this? I'm, I do it all the time. I'm, I'm kind of addicted to it. I find that, it, like, things like on the on the gauze even, it, it just kind of makes it pop. I do this all the time, add little bits of, of gesso. And that's all I'm doing is just, just painting it on randomly. I put a little bit on, even on the film strip. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit on this over here and hopefully not get my photo. Oh, I don't know how many times I've made a layout. Got gesso on my photo, a big blob of it on my head or something, and then had to reprint the photo. <clears throat> I'm just going to do the same thing over here. Just add a little bit of gesso, gesso, gesso. I actually say gesso. I don't know if it's gesso or gesso. Well, either or. Just adding little bits of it. Okay, there we go. I think that's good. You can even add it to your photo if you want. Sometimes I do that like on the edges of the photo. Kind of blends the photo in too. Okay. There we go. That part is done. <clears throat> and now I've got, maybe I should dry that a bit. I better dry that a bit. Put on low. Dry that a bit before I go any further. I'm actually going to add a few more of the, because after I made my first layout, I ended up getting the, the Prima beads. So I really love adding those to my layouts now too. And I'm just adding a few of those for color, because they're the colored ones. So pretty. Okay, I think that's probably dry enough for now. The, the glass beads from Prima. They are in the store. I seen them in there the other day in virtually every color. They're just they're just gorgeous. Let's I'm gonna open them up. Can you see them? Look at how pretty they are and they're big. Love them. They're big beads. And I'm going to use some some this is golden gel. I'm just gonna use some gel <coughs> to to add them on. And what I do is I just take a little bit of Oh, wait a second, I lost you guys on my camera. I just take a little bit of gel on my paintbrush and I'm going to add it, little dabs of it, on the beadwork that's already there. Okay? So I'm just going to add a little bits on the beadwork that's already there. 
because I'm going to add these colored beads right on top of the other ones. There we go. And I'm just going to just going to add them on a few at a time and then I'll show it to you after I get them dry. Just a few of them for added color on the layout. It's kind of tedious, but you know what? I find it kind of fun. I don't mind the tedious the tedious things. <clears throat> I got this golden gel. It came in it came in a kit that was in one of the mixed media kits. It was um I don't know, somewhere around Christmas time. We got a box of them. There was like six six different golden products in the box. It was awesome. And I'm, still, I'm going to heat set these. Oh I got a straggler bead here. Hold on. I might have to turn this on high though. So hold on. Hope it's not too loud. Turn the volume down for a minute. It goes another bead. Turn the bead in the bead. Oh, it goes a couple more beads. I don't want to melt my film strip either, so I'm just going to pick it up. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Get rid of any stragglers that are on there. And here, I'm going to turn this light off again so that I can bring it up and show you. Let's see. Can you see them? Yeah, maybe you can on this one. Can you see them? There's pretty, pretty orange beads in there. Oh, my light's kind of crummy, isn't it? Oh, that's even worse. Okay, well. Anyways, they're gorgeous. I love them. I will take some close-ups of it, and I will show you guys. I'm going to have to actually do some on, on the other layout now, too. I can't stand it looking at it without the beads on it. Okay, what else is there? Is that it? No, it's not it. I got more. I got more. Okay, we got to cover up. We gotta cover up the the photo again. Now I've got the the 13 yards black ink here. Let's see. So I'm just gonna shake it up. I'm just gonna shake it up. Shake it up. <laughs> now I'm gonna have that song in my head. And I'm going to squeeze all of the ink out of it, all of the ink out of this eyedropper, and I'm just going to go like this. And you want to make sure that you squeeze all the ink out, because otherwise you're going to end up with these big splats. And I just want little splats. And I've covered my photo up again so that it can't get... I want a little bit up there. There we go. I think that's good for the ink, the black ink. But you know what else I brought out? I brought out some of the brass knuckle inklings. And I think we're going to add a bit of it. I didn't add it on the last layout either, but we've got time. So with the inklings, you just add a few squirts of water. Uh oh, wait a sec, I gotta I gotta clean my, my paintbrush. It's dirty, it's got gel on it. And you stir it up in the pot here. You can do it thicker thin. I kinda I should have got a a thinner um paintbrush. I usually use a thinner one. So you just stir it up here. And the same thing. Oh, I'm just going to add little droplets of it. And the shimmers is, is it's quite subtle, but it's, it's really shiny when it dries, especially if you get it on the actual embellishments. When it dries, it's so pretty. Little, little dabs of color. 
and it's really shiny. So there, I think that's probably enough. <clears throat> so that was the Shimmer's Inklings in Brass Knuckles. And you know what, you guys? I think that's it. I think that is it. And you know which light I'm going to turn off? I'm going to turn off this one here, over here, so that I can bring it up and show you. Let's see. So now you can see the different colored beads and all the layers, all the layers and dimension on this. And this layout, here I'm going to grab the one that's dry. It is so thin. Like, look it. It's so thin. If there's, you can put this into a scrapbooking album easily. Oh, wait, I just see one more thing that I forgot to do. Now, where is it? I need to put the title on. I lost the title. Oh, no. I had it all ready, too. There it is. There it is. I, I just used... I just used some of these Tim Holtz ideology um, number letter stickers, and I just put them on a piece of the cardstock, like scraps, and I'm just going to cut it out. The other one, the other one I put down, me and you. So this one is called Selfie Fun, and I did bring some pop-ups. Now where did I put those? Hmm. That's what happens when, you, when you're not scrapbooking in your room. Oh, well, I'll just use these. I'll just use this if I can't find the pop-up. Oh, there they are. I've just got these, these little pop-ups. I think they're from, of all places, from Creative Memories. Okay, so I'm just going to selfie. Fun. Selfie. Fun. There we go. And that is it, you guys. Wow. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? Let me turn the light back on. That was pretty fast. So now I've got my two layouts. Here's my, my two layouts, and I'm going to put them on the wall of me and Olaf. Here's the new one that I made tonight so fast. I've got some uh, some really really pretty frames so I'm gonna put them on the walls. So there's my new one. Put this one over there and you know what I'm gonna pan over. I'm gonna pan back over to me since I'm done with my layout. Hold on. <clears throat> hey! Wasn't that fast? Yay! Look at me. I'm done. I'm done early. Woohoo! Do you want me to go get Olaf? I'll go get him, okay? Just hold on. Hold on. I'll go get Olaf. You know what? Take a sap. Olaf, everybody wants to see you, but don't knock over Mama's table, okay? Come over here. Come on. Come on. Come on up here. <gasps> There's Emma behind me. Here's Olaf. Oh, Mama. Olaf loves the Mama. Ma I love you too. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to stick around for a couple more minutes and talk to you guys on chat, but I'm going to stop the recording. So thank you so much for your support for me and for the Prime Unicorn. And remember, next week is songs. She'll be here, same place, same time. And also the pre sales for the Junior Passion Your Art Kit start. Thanks, everyone. Bye. It was fun. Whee! <laughs>